When you're working in Microsoft Word, styles offer you the ability to name groups of formatting characteristics and then apply those formatting characteristics throughout your documents. The cool thing about styles is that you can create styles in a document and then save them as a template and reuse them over and over again. So for example, let's say I use these same configuration of styles when I'm creating a proposal or a report and I don't want to have to reinvent the wheel every time I do that. So I'm going to just show you a little bit of what I've done in this document. I'm going to launch my styles dialog box. I'm going to click over here and do a drop down. And you'll notice that I've modified the heading one style so that it includes, I've changed the font and I've added a border for that so that if I want to come down here and, and apply that formatting, all I need to do is click here and press heading one. It applies all of that formatting and I click here also and I can apply subheading information and you'll notice it puts it in. I've also created a custom style for this um, document. Maybe our company font is a, a specific kind of font and it's a different color. So you'll notice I've also created a custom style that I'm using in my report or proposal. Now the thing is, is that if you don't save this as a template, every time you go in to create a report, or a proposal, you're going to have to reformat these styles. What we're going to do is save this group of styles as a template. What I'm going to do before I do that, however, is I'm going to delete out some of the text that I may not need. So I'm going to take out this text, maybe from this specific proposal, before I save it. Now you'll notice I'm saving some of the text into the template because maybe I start every proposal with a mission statement, you'll notice, and maybe a little company overview. This will help me so that I don't have to reinvent the wheel every time I do one of those kinds of documents. So to save a document as a template, what you do is you go to File and Save As. So I'm going to name this Proposal Template. And I'm going to put it in my templates folder. I created a special folder for that. So this is a proposal template. The key to saving something as a template, though, is to remember to change the document type. So I'm going to click on my drop down here. And instead of saving it as a Word document file, I'm going to save it as a Word template file. And you'll notice it's about four or five choices down there. I'm going to go ahead and hit the Save button. And now I've saved not only my text, but I've saved my style configuration as a template. I'm going to go ahead and close this document and open a new document based on our template. Now the trick here is you can't use the little new button to open up a document based on a template. In order to make this work, what I need to do is go to File and New. From here, I can go into New from Existing. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow me to bring up a document based on a different template, one other than the normal template. You'll notice it dropped me into my um, A Templates folder. What I'm going to do is just click on Proposal Template. And what I'm creating is a document based on that template. I'm going to go ahead and hit Create New. And you'll notice it brings up my mission statement because I use that in every proposal. It also brought up my company overview. I can click here and press enter. I'm going to paste back in some text here that I took out earlier. So maybe I've added some new text into my proposal. Now when I open up my styles dialog box, in addition to having the text that has come in, I also have access to my styles. So if I come down here and I want to apply that Heading 1 style, you'll notice that all of the formatting is available to me and also my Heading 2 style is there. I also have what I um, lovingly refer to as my obnoxious company font here in the green and you'll notice my custom style is available to me as well. So by saving your templates or saving your styles into a template, it makes them available to reuse over and over again.